Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit, and in this circuit, this square wave is applied as an input. Now in this circuit, we have been given that the voltage drop across this p-n junction diode is 0.7 volt, and the zener breakdown voltage of the zener diode is equal to 6.8 volt. And here. We have been asked to find the maximum and the minimum value of the output waveform. Now, if you closely look this circuit, then it is the clamper circuit. And for the clamper circuit, we know that the RC time constant of the circuit should be much larger than the time period of the signal. And in fact, here we have been given that the RC time constant of the circuit is much larger than the time period of the signal. So, to find the maximum and the minimum value of the output waveform. Let's analyze this circuit. And first of all, let us see what happens during the positive half cycle. So during the positive half cycle, these two diodes will conduct, and the capacitor starts charging in this direction because these two diodes will offer the minimum resistance. So during the positive half cycle, the voltage drop across this diode D1 will be equal to 0.7 volt, and the voltage drop across this diode D2 will be equal to 6.8 volt. So during the positive half cycle, the voltage drop across the capacitor will be equal to 14 volt minus V out, and during the positive half cycle, V out will be equal to 0.7 plus 6.8 volt, that is equal to 7.5 volt. So the capacitor voltage VC will be equal to 14 minus 7.5 volt. That means during the positive half cycle, the capacitor will charge to the voltage 6.5 volt. And during the positive half cycle, the output voltage V out will be equal to 7.5 volt. Now let's see what happens during the negative half cycle. So during the negative half cycle, the voltage across the capacitor will be equal to 6.5 volt. And here, let's say the voltage at this terminal is equal to V dash. And if we apply the KVL in this loop, then we can say that this voltage V dash is equal to Minus 14 minus 6.5 volt. That means this voltage V dash will be equal to minus 20.5 volt, and the same voltage will also appear across these two diodes. So during the negative half cycle, these two diodes will remain off, and the same voltage V dash will also appear at the output terminal. That means we can say that during the negative half cycle, the output voltage V out is equal to minus 20.5 volt. And once again, during the positive half cycle, the output voltage V out will be equal to 7.5 volt because at that time the voltage across the capacitor is equal to 6.5 volt. So in this way, in this clamper circuit, the maximum output voltage V max is equal to 7.5 volt, and the minimum voltage V minimum is equal to minus 20.5 volt. That means for the given question. A is the correct answer.